Sometimes I have some of these smaller ideas that don't really make up a full video. So in today's video, we're going to be attempting four of those ideas. So hit the like button, sit back and enjoy. So I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to make that renewable lead stick, this meat farm that I've wanted to make for such a long time now. I've been talking about an idea like this for literally years. So it's probably about time I do it. No, you're not part of this, Mr. Megalodon. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to need to get it back to like shallower water because I can't have this freaking thing go all the way down to like the bottom of the ocean. So maybe around here looks deep enough. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to have four ocean platforms, and then I'm going to remove all the inner parts of them to create just a giant water basin. Then we're going to pillar down to the very bottom of the ocean so it has like a full on cage to just be in. So I can use this S plus gun right here to basically remove some of the sides of the platform just like that. And I'm going to pretty much just remove the inner parts and just keep the corners. OK, well, this is pretty big very spacious we want to be very cautious about that because i don't want to get you know fined or something like that you can't have a gigantic sea creature like this and put them into a tiny little tank that's just not ethical okay well i have some more building resources over here so we can basically just keep working on this okay so now i want to work on the actual walls and i think the first thing i want to do is create the little viewing area so i'm basically just snapping a bunch of these vacuum compartments onto the bottom of the ocean platforms and that's going to create a little pathway that we can walk around and not drown in now we need a way to connect it up to the top so we're gonna put another one there 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 and then there and I guess just for aesthetics we're gonna put some up above like this okay now we need to open them all up and basically just create this whole pathway the only thing I can't get rid of is this little layer of water but technically it's not really there but visually it is okay let's walk all the way around and there we go get rid of this one nice okay so that's gonna be really cool once we have the lead stick this in here and the rest of it done but we do need a way to basically block off the outside so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a bunch of pillars actually one more thing we gotta freeze all of these so they look like giant ceilings instead and there we go nice I guess I'll freeze these ones as well. Okay, so there's no actual snap point for the pillars on this. So we're going to need to create our own, but luckily we can put walls there. So I'm going to come down one like that, and then I'm going to go ahead and remove that top one and then place a ceiling and then remove this. And hopefully this isn't going to stick through the floor at all. We're going to put the pillar right there. Does it stick through? Eh, a little. It might not be too bad though. Let me see. Yeah, you know what? That's actually not the worst. Okay, so from here, we're just going to have to place pillars all the way around this whole thing oh man why do i get myself into these massive projects i'm actually gonna need to get the lead thickness into this pen before we close it off so i'm probably gonna do three sides and leave this side open i have a very very fun plan for actually getting it in here you see this is why i didn't really want to build this whole thing too deep oh my god I made a mistake oh no i mean i guess i could cap it off with a ceiling but uh, I like the idea of it actually having sand in its giant containment place. Luckily, I can use some of these S plus large pillars to try and make things a little bit quicker, although they're super heavy. Okay, next up, we need to go and catch a lead thickness. All right, it was somewhere over in this direction last time I saw it. Oh, there it is. It's already coming in. Okay, let's go. We got to turn it around. <laughs> we got to lead it in over here somehow. Even though I can't swim through the actual platform. Let's see. Oh, here it comes. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. This is the stupidest thing ever. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, let me ooh, let me back away. What's going to happen here? Are you going to be able to eat it a little bit more or something? Oh, there we go. All right. So my idea is to go and just place another one on the inside of the actual trap. And, uh... Hopefully it's going to be able to get in there. I guess I could just open this up because it's waiting to get in this way. All right. Oh, no, it's swimming down now. Let me just do this maybe. No. Okay. I guess I should just wait for you to turn around and come into the actual trap. All right. Well, anyway, I should get one in here. Oh, it's going for that one again. All right. Let me just, uh, let me get one like right here. Can I do it? Wait, when can I place it? Okay. I can't place it. Oh, wait, am I not able to place it onto the inside of here? That might actually be a thing. Oh no, I can. Sweet. All right, well, I killed that raft, and we have another one right here. We just got to hopefully get it in here. I'm just going to put this in, like, the middle right there. That one's basically dead. Uh, there it is. Should I just open up the back and let it come in? I feel like you should probably fix up the front first. Let me see. Yeah, if it's coming in, like, a different way, I don't want it to be able to get out another way. So maybe I'll just wait for the moment and just fix these little gaps that I made. Oh, my God, I can't believe this is actually working. 
<laughs> this is the stupidest thing ever. Oh no, it's getting away. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it gonna come directly in? I think it actually might. No way. Come on. Oh, come on. No, no, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Okay, let me, no, I can't remove those pillars. If I remove those, that's gonna be super awkward and annoying. Um, oh crap. Just go down a little. <laughs> no, this was so perfect. All right, hopefully it's gonna try and maneuver around and get in there. Let me get some of these placed right there. I like how the raft just persists on the bottom of the water like that. It's just, oh, we did it, yes. Okay, I need to close this up quick. Oh, okay, hang on. Uh, give me that snap point, come on, there we go. All right, let me just create like one in the middle here and then we'll uh, we'll go down and around in other spots. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, let's let it have its little meal. In case you guys didn't know, uh, historically, Lead Thick this actually didn't eat fish, surprisingly. They ate primitive versions of uh, rafts and hello. All right, there you go, Mr. Shark. Okay, it's completely enclosed. That's amazing. Oh, and it just ate its second raft. Oh, that's awesome. It's gonna be like a little raft graveyard in here. All right, let me put it right there in front of the feeding window. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna swim it out a little bit. It likes the chase. Oh, never mind. Go for it, man. It's right there. All right, let me get over here. We gotta get a good view. This is so stupid. <laughs> Why did I do this? <laughs> Yes! Oh man, you don't see this shit at SeaWorld. Oh dude, we're putting on a proper show. Let me actually open this up so we can see it uh, and also see through the ocean, which is really strange looking, but yeah, you know what? Kind of makes sense. Go on, buddy. Yes, there you go. Eat well. All right, so we're definitely gonna need a name for our, our lead sickness. So drop some name suggestions down below if you have something good. Okay, well, once it's done eating that raft, there we go. I'm actually gonna get in here for our very first little a uh, bit of meat. There we go. 50 prime fish meat. Amazing. Okay, how long until the next feed? That's going to be 10 minutes. Cool. That's actually a crazy little timer. I thought it was an hour. I actually thought it was an hour. 100%. Damn. All right, let's close that up. Did I close up the other side as well? No, I did not. You can see right out into the ocean. That is so strange looking. All right, we better not overfeed him because that could be bad. I think that's my last raft. Yeah, I don't have any more. <laughs> just so silly and if he's a really good boy i guess we could feed him a motorboat at some point but i don't know we, we gotta we gotta see if it's really worth it Ooh, i also need to make sure i don't get hit by that although i'm not sure if he can damage me in that same way i'll just need to put some finishing touches on this little spot and have like a bed and everything else but for the moment i think i can call this one done next up we're gonna be creating an egg farm only using may wings oh hello gorgeous Ooh, we got another one over here wow we got tons of them over here 102 uh 168 okay i might get that one as well all right let me sort you out so there you go and let's use domino i actually should probably see how much torpor do you have Okay, so one kick should probably do it. There we go. What level was this one? 102. Okay, the other one over there was 168. You know, I probably don't even need to be wasting the nets on these things. I can just kick them once and they'll be out. Wait, what? This one's also a 168. All right, there you go. Any more 168s around here or is that it? Go into the eternal sleep. Oh man, one kick almost killed him. Boom. <laughs> Oh, that's so messed up. Making this horse was definitely one of the greatest things I've ever done in Ark. I mean, like, this is just incredible. Eventually, all three of my Maywings were teamed up. Eh, not very good stats on any of these ones, so we gotta keep looking. I'll probably keep taming them until I have some somewhat decent stats anyway. Which is exactly what I did, and here are all of the best stats from all of the Maywings that I tamed. So now we just need to let them breed with each other for a little while, and the interesting thing about Maywings is that they have like a neutral gender, so they're all gonna be producing producing babies all at once. So that means it's kind of difficult to actually mutation stack, but all in all, we're gonna have a pretty good supply of eggs just constantly. So I wouldn't really have too much of an issue doing that, but that's not actually what I wanna do here today. I just wanna look for some colors. No mutations just yet, but the colors that I am looking for are basically just yellows and reds. That's pretty much what I want. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna create a flag hot dog. I don't know, maybe. Maybe I'll get some orange in there as well to kind of make it look like it has like flaming colors or something. So I'm on the other side of all the mutations and I didn't really bother stacking stats properly. I just went ahead and combined a bunch of nice colors together, just like I kind of described earlier, uh, except I didn't actually go with any orange. I kind of like the idea that he looks like, you know, ketchup and mustard together. 
it's really cool. Honestly, the one thing that I was really struggling with was including more yellow. I wanted more yellow like on the back or something, but there's some regions on this thing where just these nice vibrant yellows just turn to like baby poop. So I didn't really like that. So I came back over here anyway to my base because I actually wanted to make up this really amazing saddle blueprint that I have. In terms of where I got that, I have no idea. Probably a drop on Genesis or a crate, I, I imagine, because it's so amazing. So yeah, let's see. Gonna need one of these. By the way, I'll explain all the crowd pods in a second. Here we go. So let's craft not a hundred. We just need one of those, please, and thank you. Hopefully it's a good one though. And 62% uh, is pretty good. I will go with that. 312 armor, that is silly. Wow, all right, let's go ahead and disable that. Actually, we should probably paint this thing. What do I want for this? I feel like the straps could be yellow if it's gonna look nice. Not so good. I do like the buckles as yellow because they kind of look like they're gold. That is the hay or whatever on the inside. That looks good like that. A little bit of yellow on it, not as much as I was really hoping for, but yeah, that looks pretty good actually. That suits you. So for the moment, I think we're gonna call this thing hot dog. Maybe we should spell it like this. There we go. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if, if you guys have a better idea, maybe let me know. Um, but I, I like that one My idea if it actually had some orange in it was actually to call it hot rod But I think this is pretty cool. By the way, here are all the stats imprinted and everything right there And let's go ahead and put you away So my idea with all the cryopods was to basically put a hundred of these things into cryopods And then I want to put them into a vivarium, which I will explain in just one second This is gonna be pretty painful, but let me grab out a hundred of these things so the vivarium is this thing right here. We've had these in the base for ages, but I haven't put anything into them. I was going to do the different kibble tiers a little while ago, but then I never bothered doing that. For the most part, whenever I need to make some kibble, I just make the top tier and I just breed my Denonicus to get a bunch of eggs. And then I just make that in like massive amounts occasionally. So um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take away five of these and just have one of them here and put a hundred Maywings inside of there. The cool thing about the Maywings is they'll produce all six types of kibble eggs and we can use those to make my kibble in future. But first I, I do need to raise up a hundred of these things and, and that's yeah, that's Pretty much gonna involve me probably just sitting around for a little while, making sure that they're not all gonna starve. Oh yeah, colors wise, those are all the color regions. And uh, this one right here doesn't have any additional stat mutations. It did have them, but they just didn't get kept in throughout the whole process. So it's the same level as the unmutated ones. All right, so that's what a pile of 100 baby Maywings looks like. Yeah, these Maywing colors definitely work. I love that especially underneath oh we're into the shadows don't mind me i'm just a flying hot dog just so you know i have had this idea since i had the the maywing in the furter series called mustard i knew that i wanted to do this since then yeah it uh it needed to happen all right well that took ages but i have them all ready to go let's chuck them all in here now i think that this is still how this works i i honestly haven't used this thing in a while so hopefully i have this right all right so it's been a little bit and as you can see we got a decent amount of eggs in here um obviously the like lower tiers are way more common than the higher tiers right here but um yeah we're actually getting a decent amount of them so i would assume at some point i'm gonna come here and there's gonna be like thousands of these eggs in here so that's gonna be great um, so yeah, basically they're being collected up in this item aggregator. I have another one over there. That's actually where those eggs were collected. And, uh, I basically just want a dedicated spot where I'm only really going to have the eggs pop out and be collected. So yeah, that is that little project completely done. And I'm super happy with that. And I just used this. <laughs> oh, sometimes I forget that that's there. For this next one, we're creating a hide farm using Avis. So I've actually had this next thing done for months now, but I finally have an opportunity to show you. And the thing is, I went ahead and, um, and mutated Avis up to the point where they had maxed out health. Why did I do this? Uh, mutton and hide mainly, um, obviously pelt too. <laughs> So yeah, it, it seemed like a good idea halfway through I was kind of regretting it But I have to go through with it and um, I'm finally ready to actually do this So here's what they look like obviously you can see all those ones there But here's a close-up so the uh, the males of course have the horns. Those are red We've got two blues on them as well here and um, they look really cool at nighttime They glow which is awesome, but um because obviously these are the aberrant versions but uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's begin some slaughtering because I want to see how much stuff we're, we're going to actually get from these dudes. So I think I actually do need to use this. I don't think I can actually use my tech sword to slaughter them. Let me just see. Uh, no, that's not going to work. Let's use the pickaxe. Wait, where's the option? 
oh there it is oh i need to be like super close does it work now oh it does work nice let's use the tech sword so if you guys didn't know even in pve this is an option you just need to bring a weapon up to an office specifically and you can slaughter them just like that so i'm going to employ the help of my baby blender which is the um the therizino that i have in egg fall over there which is a an element farm or an element creature farm tech creature farm there we go words are difficult let's try this how much stuff am i gonna get okay we got several hits on this thing oh my god okay that's uh that that's a good amount of stuff i'm mainly looking at the hide here obviously the mutton is great that is a huge amount of that also why did it separate into so many different stacks that's very strange because they should stack up to 2000 with my stack mod but um regardless 3000 that's pretty amazing now i do have another test that i want to do i have a chainsaw and i want to see how much stuff i'm going to get but i i feel like it's going to take me a long time to do that so first of all let's just quickly get all of these guys slaughtered and um and then yeah <laughs> we'll use the chainsaw on one of them i don't want to use it on all of them all right let me pick up the rest of them because the meat will become less uh juicy and um it's gonna go a little bit better if they see what's about to happen no of us were harmed in the making of this video by the way i i refute any claims that that is the case here this is all very ethical <laughs> this is so horrifying still getting stuff wow okay there we go nice uh that's pretty good that's so much pelt i don't need that much pelt mostly looking for the hide um also you are completely overburdened we can fix that afterwards in case you're curious here are the harvesting levels um delicate may give more hide i don't actually know if anybody knows like if this would give more let me know because i would like the perfect creature to actually harvest these dudes with but for the moment i do want to test this out with the chainsaw can i slaughter you with the chainsaw that is possible that that's really horrifying but yeah let's get this done um okay so first of all we have none of that stuff in my inventory let's begin this might take a while so just for reference we have officially passed the amount that we would get if i used the therizino i don't know how long this is gonna take <laughs> we might end up running out of chainsaw how much durability do we have i mean like it's going down pretty quick but i don't think it's gonna break i know that this is gonna take a long time though and i am now encumbered <laughs> this is ridiculous dude that's like five times the amount that i'd get if i used the therizino oh man also we have a pretty good timer of how long this has been going on it's officially been going on a minute now that's incredible all right well i guess i'm gonna look at my phone or something scroll through twitter or whatever oh there we go nice Twenty-seven thousand. <laughs> that is so ridiculous we got three thousand from the um from the other thing so what is that like nine times the amount by using the chainsaw and may i also just point out that that is an office that didn't have any levels pumped into the health i'm kind of curious but at the same time do i really even need to know probably not um <laughs> that may disappoint a couple people but like guys come on i don't need to know how much a max um <laughs> max level office would give i feel like i kind of do oh, i have no idea how to level this thing up by by just oh that that sounds too painful okay i'm gonna do something right now i'm gonna put away all this stuff i'm going to cheat to give this thing max levels we're going to grab all of the mutton and everything from it and then i'll drop it down afterwards i want to just see how much it would give but i don't know if i really want to like actually commit to trying to do that all right so this right here is the command that we're using i'm just putting in a very very large number and that should in time update and basically make this thing max level there we go 88 levels okay chainsaw time slaughter and then i'm gonna hopefully immediately start chainsawing here we go so we should have a pretty good indicator of how long this is gonna take now just for reference we're about to pass the point that we were at before and we have officially passed that amount of hide oh my god <laughs> this is so silly how long is this gonna go on for my index finger is gonna be numb by the end of this for just holding down left click like this is crazy this is officially two minutes of chainsawing <laughs> this is so stupid all right well i can't stare at this for like 10 minutes so i'm just i'm again i'm gonna look at my phone for anybody curious i will be uh uploading the uncut version of this chainsawing <laughs> no <laughs> oh i just noticed we are at double the amount that we got from an unleveled one that's pretty cool uh we're about three minutes in 
every single time a piece of gasoline like goes into the chainsaw i think that it's stopped but it never has <laughs> like 75,000 hide from one sheep oh my god <laughs> i don't know if this is ever gonna stop but you know we, we got two hours and 24 minutes left we're six minutes in my finger's getting very numb. Oh my god. I just like moved it slightly. Oh no, it stopped! No! I accidentally stopped chainsawing it! Ah, that sucks. I mean, we can still see the amount in a minute, but like, that still kind of sucks. But this is ARC content in 2023. <laughs> like, what is happening? Can we please stop? Can you please finish? <laughs> Dude, this is not fair. That's just not fair. Come on! <laughs> Oh, there we go. Finally. Yes. Yes. It stopped. Oh my God. Okay. I need to see how much stuff I have in here then. Um, I could just count the stacks or I could just do this. Uh, hide. Let's drop all of that. 154,000 hide. Pelt is probably the same. Let's drop all of that. Boom. <laughs> 155. And mutton. Let's drop all of that. 76,000. Like, what on earth? <laughs> Look, that is a stupid amount of resources from one sheep. I, I don't know how many gasoline I went through. Probably, like, 20. Um, And I definitely... I think I was at, like, 800 durability on this. So that that's great. Well, there you go, guys. Science. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad that I didn't legitimately level up that sheep because that would not have been worth any more of my time. I'm never going to do that again. I'd rather just raise... 10 sheep and then i'd have more than this amount so <laughs> that's so stupid oh my god well there you go guys i'm gonna leave all that stuff there to, to despawn and and then i'm gonna go fix my chainsaw regardless though i now have a really good source of mutton hide and pelt for all that's worth so I wanted to give a bit of an update on the Flying Castle, the Desert Titan base that I made over here on Crystal Isles a couple episodes ago. Uh, just in general, not a huge amount has changed on the outside of the actual build. I did add a couple more like little support pillars and stuff around the place, but uh, yeah, just in general, not a whole lot's changed there. I did get quite a few comments asking me to change the glass right here to the S plus glass from the greenhouse glass. and. I don't know why, I just kind of prefer this look myself. I did get so many comments about it, so maybe I'll, I'll put some more consideration into that. But, um, yeah, so I'll probably end up, like, changing this slightly as well, because I do feel like it kind of sticks out a little bit uh, too much, and it looks a little bit awkward on the front there. But I don't know, I'll, I'll figure something out with that. Um, either way, though, uh, as you can see, we've got this little building um, at the back right here, and I haven't really done anything down there just yet. The, the real issue with this is, and even during the video, you may have noticed, it was very difficult to actually do anything, because as you can see, the whole thing is just rocking constantly. Now, I can kind of get it, get it like, somewhat level, but it's still going to rock off of, like, I don't know. It's super frustrating to build on the back of this dude. Way more frustrating than it was for the, uh, the Titanosaur base that we did last year. But, um, yeah, so just in general... I'm trying to kind of do little bits as we go and not kind of like try to make a massive change in this overnight. But um, I did add this little building back here, which I think looks pretty cool. We've got like the Desert Titan Dermis right there. I've got some artifacts here, a little teleporter spot as well, a couple beds. And uh, this is probably mostly going to be it. I actually don't have a, um, a head trophy on the wall anymore because I added the, um, what do you call this thing again? The transmitter right here. The head trophy was on the wall behind it right there. And um I think I already had these artifacts there as well before. But um, I, the thing about the head trophies on the wall is, especially for platform saddles, it's super frustrating to try and do that because of all of the rocking. And somehow it ends up, like, intersected into the wall in, like, a weird way, and it's just super frustrating. So I was going to put some back here, but then I decided not to do it because I wanted to put two, and it just it would have looked really off and weird if I had done it. Maybe I'll attempt that again in the future. Who knows but um yeah so just in general this is pretty much it i mean i added just a couple little decorations around the place like these little water tanks we've got some crops growing right here as well which is cool uh the windmills are actually a nice little uh idea that a couple people had i definitely think it looks a lot better on my titanosaur base because of where it is on that base but on here it, it made a lot of sense to just put some on um i do think it looks a little bit weird having two of them but it looked weirder having one if you understand what I mean by that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. 
Um, yeah, that's, uh, I think that's, that's the whole thing. I don't really think there's anything else I changed. I mean, maybe I did. I can't remember if I did. One thing that I actually do want to try and see if I can do, it might not be possible to get it done the way I want it, but I essentially want to have some, um, some windmills here with the blades pointing down. So like it would have to be on its side and then also kind of like, um, let's see, which way is it actually pointing right now? It would have to be a, basically if I took this and then just like, toppled it over this way uh that's essentially what i need but the way to do that would be pretty complicated and then trying to line it up would also be super complicated but then the real issue is where the hell does the rest of it go because that's gonna have to sit somewhere and, and basically hide somewhere and i don't know if that would be possible but it'd be really cool if i could do that i don't know anyway uh yeah i think that's pretty much it for this but i did want to give a bit of an update on this because i got a lot of great ideas and everything and um yeah, definitely needed to bring you guys up to speed with it. Okay, well, that's about it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, though, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button, do all that good stuff. And uh, I will say, um, this isn't something I could really do super, super often because there's not very many times nowadays that I have, like, tiny ideas that I can stockpile together like that. But, um, yeah, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, my God, this was a 180 the whole time. Damn.